Case Study Control of Unmanned Aerial Vehicles This story comes from the University of California, Berkeley. For the past several years, students and faculty have been developing software to control a group of several unmanned aircraft. A single user can control the fleet of aircraft and command it to carry out complex missions such as patrolling a border, following a highway, or visiting a specified location. Each airplane carries a video camera and an onboard computer and communicates with the ground station and other aircraft in the formation. The control algorithms are so sophisticated that the fleet can carry out certain missions without any operator intervention. The control system runs on a QNX-based operating system and is divided into three kinds of processes, communication, image processing, and task control. They needed to find a way to allow all these software applications to share information. You may not know this, but the Data Hub is not only for Windows. We also offer a version that runs on non-Windows operating systems like Linux. For this example, each process writes its data to the Data Hub and subscribes to the data on each other processes on a read-only basis. One example of this data sharing is between the image processing and task control software. Waypoint and Orbit use input from the vision control and vision process. Prior to takeoff, certain algorithms are applied to previously recorded videos. This creates a visual profile of the area, which is maintained by the vision control. In the air, this data must be compared to what the plane is currently flying over. A camera mounted on the wing of the plane feeds data to the vision process, which analyzes the content and generates meaningful information about objects on the ground, such as waypoints on a river or road. This live content, along with the stored visual profile in the vision control, is fed through the Cascade Data Hub to Waypoint and Orbit. The Data Hub's ability to restrict write privileges to shared variables avoids many of the difficulties associated with multi-process management. As a side note, the Data Hub can communicate with more than just Linux and QNX. Any operating system that can open a TCP socket, send a text command, and parse the response can communicate with the Data Hub. For videos, documentation, and a free demo, visit softwaretoolbox.com slash datahub.